Hello. Now I can, can you hear me? I can't hear you though. Hello? Yeah, now I can hear you. Brilliant. Um, I think because there's not many people, I think we can, everybody can unmute. We can try that. <laughs> um, so, um, 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 I'll just send a chat thing. Seems to be two of you. Is there? Yeah, I have two cameras. Oh, I see. Uh, 
Whereabouts are, <laughs> whereabouts are you? I'm Jane. I'm in Lismore. Lismore. Yeah. Not, that's in West Cork, is or East Cork? No, it's in West Waterford. Okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you know Len and Joan, Len Casey, uh, Len Canton and Joan Casey. Yeah. Yeah, I have the market house in in Capaquin with them. Oh, nice. Yeah, I need to get in touch with uh, Joan and Lenny and see if I, they got in touch with me and I need to call them up. Yeah, you were, we're, we're booked out for this year, but next cool. year. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, can everybody hear me? Yep. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. need to put it up a bit. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. Can you read that? Well, not at that angle. It, it, um... Now I can read it. Oh, pigs. Oh. <laughs> it, it's it's a joke, but I like pigs. <laughs> because because there's not many people, um, if somebody feels strongly they want to do something else other than a dog, then they can do. I'd um, say my pig would look like a dog anyway, or my dog would look like a pig. Okay. Um, I just hope everybody can hear. I ju I'm just going to assume everyone can. Um, nice one. So I'm going to show you, I'm just going to sh start by showing you a little film. I'm quite new to Zoom, so there might be some sort of air mistakes at some point. I'll do my best and I'll just start by showing you a little film. Um, so, um, so this is a project in Italy. Um, Hopefully you can all, all. Mm -hmm. about that. <laughs> Gruesome.
were there um there, uh, i think there was about 110 yeah um i'll tell you what i'm just gonna pretty much start so unless you have direct questions about the actual workshop um when you do have that's grand but because it's quite normally it's a full day sorry about the <laughs> <laughs> thanks um <laughs> you just have to figure that out <laughs> I hope we're not supposed to work at that pace. <laughs> Sorry. Tom, how much does a dog weigh about? Um, like, sorry, that kind just of one second. Dog. Sorry. Is Lucy Smith? <laughs> Stop, I, I need to work at that pace. This kid, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll eventually figure this out. Um, um, screen share. Sorry, everybody. Um, they, uh, it wouldn't be a Zoom thing if it didn't go wrong. Nice one. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. Um, I think that's pretty much back. I want to put this camera on, so I just have to work that out. Um, that one should still be on, working. Sorry about this. Oh, this is crazy. Um, I'm getting really nervous now, so... Don't be nervous, don't be You're nervous. You're going viral, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can somebody help me? <laughs> you need to find a teenager. <laughs> yeah, um, basically... Yeah, do you all know what sort of dog you want to make? Yeah. 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 Is anyone making a big dog? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, so there's one big dog. What, how, what sort of dog have you? Um, she, she's a, like a kind of a, she's got quite a lot of hair on her. So that's what I was wondering. All of those dogs are very smooth. Yeah. Um, so she's quite hairy and she's sort of lurchery size, but not as skinny. Okay. Um, yeah, like the hairy thing, normally them dogs aren't very hairy. Um, they're made for this project, they're made to be very strong. And yes. saying that, I can recommend ways of making it look hairy. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that'll that'll come later. Like at first, we build it all in the same way. You'll be adding texture to make it hairy, but mm -hmm. if you want it to last, I'd recommend you making it hairy towards the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you do lots of layers of papier mache before you make it hairy. So the first layers, Tom, are just dry paper and sellotape. Yeah, and so we're making... it's quite it's quite um it's quite a light dog. Um, yeah, it depends on how many layers of cardboard you put in there. <laughs> it is quite light there. Basically, yeah. you can make these dogs really, really strong, 
Um, but that'll be up to you. That if you add loads of layers, you can actually stand on a dog. You can sit in the dogs. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But that's that takes like a couple of days of work almost. You know, you need to let it dry and come back to it. Did you all have a look at the PDFs that I sent? Mm -hmm. yeah. I looked at the yeah. first few. Not, I didn't go all the way down the line with them. Okay, mm -hmm. in that case, I'm going to try and show you the one of the PDFs. Let's see if I can figure it out. Um, so are you seeing my screen at the moment? Yeah, yeah. capitalism. Oh yeah, a big, that's a big papyamashi poo. Yeah, I thought so. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, this is the armature. Um, yeah. yeah. I must say your PDFs were really good. Oh, thanks. I put a lot of time into them. Um, yeah. Thanks for that. Um, can you all see that full screen? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's very it's very basic, and you can apply this to any sculpture you make. Um, if you're making a big sculpture, I'd recommend using willow, but because hopefully you've got some fairly good wire, you don't need willow. So it's three page. The basic armature is three pieces. Uh, one piece for t each leg, it, well, two legs, so that's yeah. one, if you get what I mean, it's folded, and yeah. then one from the tail to the nose. Uh, sitting dog is kind of similar, but with slightly longer legs. Um, is anybody making a sitting dog? No. no wasn't planning okay. on it. That's oh, fine. Yeah. Um, that's fine. Um, so... For people making a sitting yeah. dog, I recommend giving it slightly longer front legs, but there's never a problem. If the legs are too short, you just add to them. And if they're too long, you cut them shorter. So there isn't a problem. So this is basically, this sheet is just saying, this is where you decide what type of dog you're making. So when you're making the armature, that's the first, that's, you need to know what sort of dog you're making, what sort of structure you want to have at the end. Um, so yeah, I went to buy some fence wire today. Oh, good. Well, yeah, but I declined because it was going to have to buy a hundred meters. Yeah, yeah. No, a row, no, so no, I'm no, resorting no. to clothes hangers. So basically, when you're making a, a long dog, obviously you need a long body, short legs. So the type of dog you make determines the armature. Uh, Whippet is very, very thin mm. um, and it's quite tall. So when yeah. you're, especially this part, can you see my cursor? Yeah. yeah. So especially this part is very thin. Uh, the tail again is a very thin. Um, these dogs, the dogs that I make generally are, are kind of anatomically kind of correct, but they have chunkier legs. If you are going for something that's very anatomically correct, you need to make, for example, on a Whippet, very thin. Yeah. Um, the bulldog, I didn't do any PDFs about the head. The heads are obviously a lot squashed, more squashed in. Uh, because I don't have PDFs, I might be able to show you that as, as we work if somebody is doing a dog like that. Um, so basically, I reckon, I reckon we can, um, I'll just run through this, but we can almost start when I figure out how to get the other camera on. Um, so yeah, three pieces of wire. Um, this is a sitting dog, so mm -hmm. slightly longer legs. Like generally, sometimes I make a standing dog and I just make the legs longer. So that's also another way. Uh, when you're making a big dog, I recommend rolling it diagonally. So having your paper yeah. and rolling, rolling it on diagonally. Uh, I'll be telling you this when we're doing it, about three or four sheets of paper. Uh, once you've rolled it up, you bend in the ends. Uh, you bend the legs in the middle. So that's two legs. This becomes two legs. Have you the wire in the middle of that? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and then first of all, you're doing the back legs. So you're kind of defining the tail. Um, and you're, yeah, you're, you're deciding basically the length of the tail. Uh, and then you're attaching the front legs. Uh, the legs in the dog do always tend to go back. So when you're deciding where to put them, just bear in mind they will go back. So don't make it too long unless you want a 
you know, a basset hound or a very long dog. Some dogs are shorter and long. Um, scrumpling, this, this is the main technique. Um, there's actually a PDF just about this. For me, this is the fundamental in working with newspaper and sellotape. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, this is lashing. So you're basically using the newspaper as string and your, your, or, or rope. And it's a technique where you're tying two pieces together. So it's a kind of lashing technique. And then that's the finished armature, very basic, but not, it's not really strong, but it's kind of solid enough. Okay, and okay. let's see if I can figure out this camera. Um, no. I don't know why the camera overhead has stopped because that's quite important. No, it's still on. Can you see the camera overhead? Yeah, you're up on the top row. Top yeah, row. yeah, okay. but it's quite small. It, it's it's not the um, it's not the oh, main. That's it. There. Okay. Now that thanks. That's great. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Cool. Brilliant. So, oh, that's good. Have you all got your newspaper ready? We'll just start straight away. Have you all got your newspaper opened out? No. No, I no. have. The first thing to do is open out your newspaper. If there's any newspaper with staples, just put that to the side. Have you all got? Yeah. So open your newspaper in the middle and make a pile of it. Do you all have wire? Yeah. 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 Great. Oh, <laughs> um, your your earlier email, Tom. Yeah, you know that you that there are quite a few of us. I think, certainly from my point of view, I will share a lot of this with friends and my little grandchildren, and then they'll pay you and join in if that's all right. Um, yeah, that's all right. But I'll be a hundred percent honest with you. If you want to do that, that's great. And that's at your discretion, but I'm, I've, I fairly, I pretty much decided that I'm not gonna try and do a hundred dogs in cork in this way. Okay. Just because there's there's ten of you here. I had an email list for about eighty people. Oh. Yeah. And Please. you know, I kind of think because of the summer and because people are all the lockdown is kind of getting more relaxed. Yeah. I, I know. Don't do yeah, because when you put it out first, we still didn't really know when we were going to open. And this week actually is not a great week because I've just we've just opened the market house again. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I kind of also I don't want to be online all the time myself. So, yeah, um, but I think that your PDFs are so brilliant and I think we will just carry on with it. You know? Yeah. OK, well, we can talk about that. That's if, like obviously. I really, yeah, if you do use them and if you're able to chip in a bit towards it, obviously I'm really appreciative of, of that. I would rather do workshops face-to-face. -face, yeah, um, well. <laughs> but that's kind of complicated at the moment. But um, yeah, the main thing for now is just that we make a dog. Absolutely. I have loved your dogs for so long. Oh, I just thanks. think they're brilliant. They have so okay. much character. Oh, thanks. So, have you all got the wire ready? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, so basically I'm going to start and I'll go slowly. People can catch up as we go. There's no, there's no stress. Uh, I'm going to make a Jack Russell sized dog. Oh, good, because I'm going to make a Daxi, which is similar. Cool. So. The only dog I ever had in my life. These are going to be the front legs. Uh, uh, one thing, yeah, with the wire, this is the only health hazard. So I mentioned it in the email, but just be careful with the wire for your eyes. Um, oh, Tom, what length, what length um, are you cutting for the legs just now? What sort of dog are you going to make? Um, well, look, I'm just going to, we say I'll go with the same one as you just for... <laughs> Just for practice. So okay. let's 
So let's it's say it's true. about 30 centimeters approximately. Okay. Is that for the two legs, Tom? Yeah, that's two legs. Okay. I um, measured my dog's legs and they're 15 uh, centimeters. That was what yeah. I was. Um, Nikki, if you want hello. to. Do a, hello. If hello. You want to do, you're doing a sitting dog. Yeah, I've kind of already got my wire cut. I spent ages uh, working it out with hubby. <laughs> so I hope I've got it right. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, it'll be grand. And, and if it's not, we can just add, we can we can figure it out as we go. It'll be fine. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna cut a third piece, which is gonna be from the tail to the from the tail to the nose. So I'm going to, yes. I suppose with a 30 centimetre one, I'm going to cut it about 50 centimetres. Again, okay. it's not really, there's no rule of thumb. It's basically, okay. if it's too short, uh, we add to it. If it's too long, we uh, cut it short or bend it back in. So you make it maybe an extra half again, approximately. Okay, so I have three pieces of wire. The wire's a bit thin, that's a bit... Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm basically straighten the wire. Again, it doesn't have to be really, really straight, but do straighten it more or less. It's a strong yarn. Yeah. You can also use the pliers. Yeah. Okay, so and then, then basically what I'm going to do is uh, roll up the first piece of wire. Is this a leg or a body? This is a leg, but it doesn't matter. You have to roll yeah. them all up. So I'm going to roll it up with three pieces. Yeah. You can roll it up with four. You can roll it up with five. There's no... Um, I'm disappearing off camera because I've got such a big piece. I'm going to have to go and sit on the floor to roll it up. So, okay, that's okay. I am here. I'm yeah, just... That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. All right, Tom, can I just go back? The first piece of wire for the legs is about 30 centimetres and you fold that in two. Is that correct? No, no. Oh, not okay, yet. Everybody, just listen for a second. You straighten the wire and you... Hello, Michelle. You you don't fold you don't bend it until you've rolled it up. So all the wire is straight. Roll it up with about three pieces, and that's roll them all up in newspaper, and that's the first step. Okay, about thirty centimeters. Yeah, yeah. The roll is much longer than the than the wire now. Is it okay? Um, Where's my wire? Oh, so there's just um. This, yeah. uh, Michelle's just joined. Um, so basically what we're doing, first of all, is making an armature. Um, and it's three pieces. Um, okay, okay, yeah, Tom, yeah, I can follow that. Don't, um, just carry on and I'll catch up. The, yeah, nice one. There is a PDF file on how to make an armature. Yeah, yeah, I saw that as well. Cheers. Nice one. So basically, are you doing a sitting dog? I'm going to do a standing one, I think. Okay, cool. Do you know what sort? Uh, sausage dog. Excellent. Yeah, I'm, doing, I'm doing a sausage dog too. <laughs> like when you say sausage dog, is that a basset hound? Or no, a Daxi. Dax, 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 cool. Dax, Dax, cool. Dax, yeah, that's, that's a good choice because basset hounds are massive. Um, so yeah, you need quite short front legs. So okay. I don't, I don't yeah. know if you can get a sense of that. Um, and you have three pieces and you have quite a yeah. long one. And if it's, you know, for a dash under a Datsy, um, make it really, yeah, mm, almost okay. exaggerate the length of it. Okay. Brilliant. And then you roll them with about three pieces. Again, it doesn't have to be really tight. Um, and you don't need much tape. You can you fold the ends in. 
and you just tape them up. Uh, yep. Also, see when you're taping, it's quite handy if you can tear it. And also you can put your thumb there. Yep. And you can tear it and then you you, you get, you don't have to look for the end again. So ah. I'm doing Ah, okay. That's one way of doing it. Some uh, Sometimes tape is really quite strong. Um, that, and then fold that, fold in the other end. One piece of paper at a time, Tom. Sorry, no, I missed no, that. No, one. roll it up with about three or four at a time. Oh, okay, sorry. Because I'm doing short legs. What I did was actually folded one piece of paper into four. That's fine. As then I didn't have so much left over because the first time I did it, I ended up with a huge long piece. Yeah, it should be fine as long as it's rolled up and it's something like that. You know, it yeah. shouldn't be very, very thin. It's, it needs to be rolled in about all together. There's three sheets of newspaper in that one piece. And like I say, you could have rolled it with more. And are you doing that diagonally? I am, yeah. It's slightly faster yeah. di diagonally. So, okay. for example, like you can, I'm rolling this, <laughs> rolling that. And there's still a bit of wire sticking out at the end. Okay, so what I can do is I can move that over and start rolling it there. Okay. That just speeds it up. Like if you're making loads of dogs, you want to find every way to make it fast. But uh, mm -hmm. so that just speeds it up a little bit. So it's, but you don't have to worry about that. There's no, there's no time pressure. And then you fold in the ends. And then tape it up. Okay. Cool. So that's me got three pieces. So Tom, is it better to, to go too long with your wire and your rolls? So that is it better to go too long than too short? Um, there's, to be honest, it doesn't really matter because if it's, yeah, I probably would say too long than too short because okay. it's slightly simpler to bend the wire back in than it yeah. is to cut it. Okay. You know what I mean? Like if this was too long, I just bend it back in. Yeah. But if it is too short, I have to add a bit on. But that's not a problem either. You basically, when you're adding a bit on, you do it like that. Yeah. And you tape it in two places really tight. Okay. And that would be that would be good enough. That's a structural piece of joined together. It's just tight. That like the the actual strength of the dog will be the papi mache layers at the end. Okay. This this just holds it all together. But the okay. actual yeah. The layers of cardboard at the end is the strong, strong bit. I'm not sure if we'll get to that today. We might get to that. Okay. Is everyone okay? Good, yeah. <laughs> Great. I'm I'm actually, you you <laughs> Sorry? I met you many years ago when you were a very young man. <laughs> in, I used to live in Freshford. All oh, right, yeah. You gave me and a I lift. I used to give you a lift into <laughs> Kilkenny quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. Is that Lucy? It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, that was a long time ago. I, it was. was. Yeah, it yeah. Was. Are you still and in the is, same place? No, no. I'm in uh, Kill Britain now, down here in. Well, <laughs> where are Okay, cool. Uh, whereabouts in Kill Britain? In a place called Rath Claren, which is just actually, you... my sister Diana Scott lives there in the Glen. I'm too oh, no. old for her. 
<laughs> Lucy, Lucy, I have a better one. I'm great friends with Nikki and Stuart. No. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and who's that? It's a small world. Judy, Judy Borneman. I'm uh, Nikki's one of my oldest friends. Yeah. Hi, Judy. How oh, are you? I've heard your name a lot. I've it's heard very much nice to you. meet you. You too. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> You're obviously all like-minded in the Mad Dog Project. <laughs> well, I already, I already have one of Tom's dogs, and uh, I have. I have a live one of my own here. <laughs> All right. And are you going to make him, Judy? No, I'm going to. I'm just going to start with the small one and see how I get on, and I, I let, uh, I might venture, venture it further and do a bit something different. But I'm going to start small with the, the Jack Russell, and we we'll see how that goes. I kind right. of, uh, yeah, I love them, love them. <laughs> my That's dog, thinks funny. That this is a uh, small world. <laughs> Small world, absolutely. Okay, Tom, we'll stop chatting. Carry on. Yeah. Yeah. What's next, Tom? Tom, can I ask, sorry now to move it behind, the yeah. long piece, the two shorter ones are 30 centimetres. What length is the top long piece? Um, yeah, it's roughly 50 centimetres. Like, there's no, like, say, I'm not, me I never measure it. But, uh, yeah. No, I just wanted a, a guesstimate, okay. Yeah, roughly that. And if it's too, yeah, we can change it at later if it's not the right length. Um, have you all got thick enough wire? Not sure, but coat hanger. Yeah, I think I could double mine up. My no, coat was... hanger was pretty good. Yeah, coat hanger is good. It's a lot cheaper yeah. than, uh, and well, less wasteful than a uh, hundred meters of fencing wire. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a roll of fencing wire, luckily, but it does last for ages. Yeah, I mean, it's not something I'm probably going to be using. No, again. no, no. Like, there's, yeah, there's different types of fencing wire. Some of it is impossible to use. It won't bend at all, but... Yeah. Um... Okay. So we then bend our legs. Sorry? We then bend our legs, do we? Yeah, you bend your bend them, yeah. <laughs> um, no, actually just uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start. What you do is you bend them in the middle of the legs. Yeah. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be really in exact, it's approximate. Um, so you blend them both. Um, this one, and I, I'm going to sort of show you, so the people who haven't finished, if you just keep an eye yeah. as you're working, um, like there's no hurry, but just keep an eye. This end is really thick. So, and this end is really quite thin in paper. So this is naturally a good end for the tail. Yeah. So I'm going to bend that a little bit. So I remember it's the tail and I'm going to stick the legs in there like that. Roughly having a tail like that. And then basically you attach that with tape. So you go around okay, this it. This is just crumply bit. This is just tape, okay. Yeah, with sellotape. I'm looking at the your little armature, the the tail bit is nearly as long as the leg bits of the dash and daxi, whatever they call them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be. And then you get the second leg and you stick that one. Um, like the back legs do always go back a little bit. Don't know the best angle to show you. So I'm just thinking what sort of dog do I want a really long dog or a short dog and I actually think I want quite a short dog so I'm going to tape that on as well and I'll tape it on there this is even this part isn't final do you know what I mean like if you decide you've made the legs in the wrong place you can always go back and cut the tape and move them again ideally you don't want to do that but it is possible So that's, yeah, that's like that. Um, 
<laughs> looks more like a giraffe. So you, so the 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 um, so sort of let's say the neck bit. Yeah. Is does the head have to fit onto that? Do you have to leave enough for the size of the the neck no. and head, or no, is the head a separate too, that's thing? That's too long. That's too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend that back in. Um, sometimes you get it right, sometimes you get it wrong, but I'm not going to do that for now. I'm going to leave that. That's something that's done towards the end. We make the body and then we make the head. Okay. Um, okay. Um, basically, now I think I would like everyone just to stop what you're doing. And this is the most important part of the workshop. So everybody take, <laughs> stop what you're doing. Yeah. Take one. Take one sheet of make use paper and scrumple it up into a ball. So make a ball. Okay, that's quite easy. Yeah. Unscrumple it <laughs> and, and make it into an egg. So don't, don't, you don't have to think about it. Actually, just feel the shape in your hands. So oh, and again, of an oval. Yeah, an oval, yeah. We're not going for like exact. We're just going to, the, the thing is, this is the way you make the shapes by scrumpling the paper. So then open it up and make a banana. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 So, so yeah, roughly a banana. Yeah. And then scrumple it up again, open it up a me, and then scrumple it into like a sort of triangular shape. And if it's three, yeah, not scrumpling rather than folding. That's the hardest one. Yeah, yeah that definitely. is probably the more challenging one. So what's that? A bit of pie? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, can, that can be the back leg muscle. Wow. Ah. So okay. you, do, you don't necessarily need to ke keep that. Um, but another another thing, like sometimes when you're doing a workshop, you see people getting like six sheets at once, and they go like that. And it's like, it's just that doesn't have any softness as a shape. Yeah. Yeah. But what you can do is you can get, get six sheets, take, take them separately, kind of scrumple them separately. So don't take lots of sheets at once and expect to scrumple it up. Just, you know, adding lots of sheets, but scrumple in it individually. It'll give you more control over the shape that you're making. Okay. So, you know, like, um, but what, <clears throat> what I want you to, all to do, once you, once you have this done, I'm assuming most of you are close to that, you get one sheet of paper, and you scrumple it this way, down the length of it. So that's almost like a piece of string. And then you get that on the dog and you go around the back legs as if it was the tape or a piece of string. And you, yeah. you, you want that to be quite tight. And then you tape that on. Okay, and then that the, I'll do the front leg as well. Um, Tom, when you do the sitting down dog, are the back legs done in exactly the same way? 
Yeah, they are, yeah. yeah. For, right. now, for now, what you can do is this. You can do similar to this. <laughs> and then I'll show yeah. you I'll show you later on in the process. Yeah. So, so like, I just make it as if it's a standing dog to start yeah. off with, but it's got yeah. like really long front legs and short back legs. Is that right? Uh, yeah, long yeah. front legs, yeah. Yeah, okay. Nice one. <laughs> Okay, I haven't got that far yet now. Hold on a moment. I'm having yeah. cell take sticky problems. Yeah, that's fine. No problem. Tom, for that piece of work, are you using um this the small size newspaper or the large size newspaper for the um you can honestly you can use either. Um, like if it's a very small dog, you can actually tear big sheets in half. Um, I prefer yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I kind of prefer to use the broad sheets. But, if I'm uh, using the Irish Times, don't you know? Yeah, I prefer, I prefer to use that. It's partly like you don't have to look at all the rubbish in the tabloids. Well, um, <laughs> just yeah. my neighbor gets it every Saturday, so I, I read it. Then. Yeah, no, you can use that. Um, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, the big sheets are handy if you're making a big dog, because obviously, you know, it's faster. You don't have to, you don't have to use as much. Um, <laughs> I kind of missed that. I wasn't really watching this, the tying is on. But Sorry? I, I kind of missed the tying on bit, the kind of scrumpling it up into a into a thing and then tying it on. Okay, I'll show so you. Just, yeah. do, just do it one more time. Yeah, so you get you get the sheet like that. Yeah. And you, you scrumple it that way. Yeah. Rather, that's the lens way. Yeah. Um, and then you get your dog. And you, you, you go almost like a figure of eight. So you yeah, go yeah. round and, and then round and pretty much like that. And then you tape yeah. it on. Brilliant. Thank and you. That, and there's no harm in me taping that one on. I wouldn't <laughs> normally do that, but there's no harm in it. It'll make it slightly stronger. You don't normally tape them in place. Normally I just do one. I do that once. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, you always take it. Huh? Yeah. Why not? Right. right. This whole thing. I can't get this. Very easy. Sorry. So, yeah, I'm making small dogs. I started making these smaller ones. Hello. They're they're a lot faster, and they're still there. They're strong. <laughs> they are strong. Um, so, is everybody nearly at this stage? Yeah. yeah. Second. Okay, we'll wait a wee bit more before we carry on. I'm a little behind, but don't worry about me because I'm going to have to zone in and out with kid runs and stuff. So yeah. nice just fun. you carry on and I listen in. Brilliant. Yeah. That's brilliant. Thanks, Michelle. So basically, once you've got this, um, I'll, maybe I'll try see if I can show you the PDF. Did you all see the PDF? Yeah. 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 So do you think it's better me just showing you like this, or do you want to have a look at the PDF? I think it's good to watch you do it. I mean go back yeah. to the PDF. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. we can we can look at the PDF ours in our own time. Brilliant. So basically, here's one I did earlier. <laughs> this is like an oval, or it's like an egg shape. And this is actually the biggest shape in the dog. So this is about six sheets. 
scrumpled up into roughly an egg shape. And that goes between the front legs. So it actually passes the front legs. Okay. And, then I, just, and then I just tape that in place. Okay. Uh, if I do more, many more, he won't have any. <laughs> Won't be any leg. And yeah, can you hold it up to in front of the camera? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because if I did that, that was two sheets of the Irish Times. Okay, it needs it. You don't want it really, really loose. Like, see that bit there is quite loose. Yeah. That bit there is pretty unloose. You don't want it really loose, but you yeah, don't, it doesn't need to be really, really tight. But it also, you don't need it to be really, yeah. really loose. Um, and then you tape that in place. Tape it in place, yeah. And then see here, there's a bit missing here. Yeah. So scrumple up some more sheets. And it's quite, it's quite a long shape. I'm kind of looking as I'm scrumpling up the paper. Each time you're scrumpling it, you're actually thinking, where is it for? what shape do you need? And, um, so again, there's no, I'm not really counting, just more looking at the shape. Um, and I think that's roughly right. And this time it doesn't go, doesn't go beyond the back legs. It does, it sticks between the back legs, but it doesn't go through the back legs like the front. The front actually goes through. The back bit doesn't go through. Oh, it goes through a little bit, but it doesn't stick past them, if you get what I mean. And then that gets taped on. Yeah, it's more or less like that. Um, and there's a little bit of a gap there. You know, there's like a lump at the front and not there. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put a bit more in there to fill that hole. There's a hole there. So I'll fill that hole. You can also, as you're doing it, you can squeeze it. Like if the legs are too long, you can squeeze it a little bit together. You can kind of pat it into the shape. So remember the front, the front, um, the big shape at the front, let's call it the sort of chest area of the dog. Actually, I've got a dog. I've got one that I made before. So actually this bit, it actually comes through the front legs. So, so there is a bit coming through it. And at the back, it doesn't really stick through it. Um, if you're making the, is it Maggie? I can't remember who's making the really big dog. I, well, I, can. I mean, I will, but I'm not doing it now because I'm so okay. glad I'm not doing it now. I think yeah. I might make a, a Yeah, jack. cool. That, that makes sense. <laughs> That's a good idea. Cool. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think I'd need, well, I mean, I need a, a long time to do it. Yeah, no, a uh, big dog takes a lot, a good bit longer. Yep. <laughs> this is my summer going. Um, Mine looks absolutely nothing like a dog. So you're saying the kind of, the padded bit doesn't go through the back legs, it just sits like... 
Yeah, it kind of goes slightly through, but it's it doesn't stop before the back legs, yeah. but it doesn't yeah. stick far. You know, the tail, it doesn't stick out there. Yeah. yeah. And Tom, if you exaggerate, you know, the length of the body of the sausage dog, I mean, so that he's got a really long body. That's okay, isn't it? It doesn't yeah, have to okay. necessarily. Yeah, no, that's totally okay. Yeah. Like. Um, yeah, like it can be more like a cartoon dog. Yeah, I want to show you a picture of the first dog that I made. Um, well. <laughs> Nothing like mine. <laughs> right. So obviously this isn't very anatomically correct. Um, but we didn't have any, I don't think we even had wire. We may have had wire. We didn't have much tape and we had string. Um, and we, it, we made it in shirking and we dried it in front of the fire and it kind of slumped in the night. Um, as it dried. But, uh, well, this is kind of the, I suppose, the origins of the dog project, making a hundred dogs. I took it uh, home on the bus and I kept on meeting people who were kind of smiling at it and like laughing. And so I thought, well, it's, it's really funny. We could make a hundred of them. Um, so I suppose what I'm saying with this is that this, this was a really funny looking dog and you, it doesn't have to be in any way anatomically yeah. correct. You can use this workshop and make sort of crazy shapes. Like I make it, um, I have I have a job to make uh, aliens. So it's like a, it's like a we might have a few more aliens after this. <laughs> yeah, this is a very alien dog. But, yeah. So oh, that's cool. So yeah, it's using the same technique, rolled up newspaper and wire, and then just building the shape. Brilliant. Um, so I'm going to show you the next part of this. Uh, see there, the legs go really wide. So what we want to do is we want to secure them in, in place, but we're not, sque we're not squeezing it really tight. It's not about, it's about just holding them in place. <clears throat> and, and to do that, what you do is you do a figure of eight. This is another kind of lashing technique. So you go round, round, Oops, the self-tape broke. I, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. There's uh, enough tape on it that it's held in place. But I went round, figure it out around the front legs, and I'm going to do the same to the back legs. You might see there's a little bit of wire sticking out there. So I'm going to cover that over. It's sticking out the end of the foot, and that's that's obviously not what you want, so I'll be covering that over. Um, but it's important to do this, otherwise, well, this wire is quite thick, but, you know, this just holds it in place. Um, also, like, if you are thinking of doing a walking dog, you might want to do something like that. I actually, I'm, I intended to put, I never got around to it, but I intended to give a PDF with a uh, dog walking just because to show the, how they walk. Um, something we could Google right now if you want, but um, I think they I think the two legs go forward like that and then the other ones go back. Um, <laughs> they can just be, well, they can be standing dogs as well. If you make a standing dog, it's, it's kind of normally gonna be a bit stronger. Like I made one, I made a dog, uh, I have a photo of it somewhere, but I made a dog this size and covered it in so many layers of, of card that it was strong enough to hold two people standing on it. Wow. So they can be really, really strong. Now, apparently the Italians used to make shoes out of uh, papier-mâché. 
during the Second World War. Wow. They didn't do very well with them because they went to try and fight in Russia, apparently, and they all just fell apart. <laughs> Well, figure of eight and black. Thank you. Well, no, you're just indicating. I guess doing it once. This is so weird. Which one's weird? No, what I'm doing here is very weird. Can you hold it up in front of the camera? Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I really want to. <laughs> <laughs> it's grand, like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay. I think it's going to be a basset hand, actually. That's it's really funny. good. Okay, um, that's <laughs> fine. Mine, like. <laughs> have you got loads? Room. Have you got loads of newspaper? Me? Yeah. Yes. Well, that, that's good. Um, you can also <laughs> like if you're making a really big sculpture, you can actually speed it up by, for example, using a plastic bottle for the belly. Right. Yeah. You could wrap a plastic bottle. I made a uh, made a swordfish once, and I actually used a barrel inside it just yeah. to, just to sort of take the bottle. Bulk it out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Tom, can I ask you? Um, I don't know. Can you see mine? I don't no, know. Is Tom. it? Is that kind of? <laughs> um, Jillian, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So what I'd recommend there is show me the tail. Yeah, the tail. I would recommend you putting a little bit more there underneath. Can you see where the cursor is? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, That's there. The Perfect. That's grand. That's what I thought. I didn't want to. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to pop out, but I'll be in and out. Um, I'll talk to you in a little while. Yeah, nice one. That's fine. Thanks. Okay. Um. Oi. So. So basically, you're kind of making more of these kind of scrumply up bits to just pad it all out. Yeah, pretty much every every shape you put in, you're you're just adding to the sort of dog. You're basically each shape yeah. should reflect yeah. the, the dog that you're making. Um, so like quite often, I suppose in workshops when you got a lot of people or when like early on perhaps when people were making things you quite often saw people like making a ball and sticking it on like that and then another ball and it became loads of balls it's not really about that it's more about okay an oval shape for the chest yeah, yeah. a bit of a bulk here okay leg muscles front leg muscles back leg muscles it's more like each shape should in some ways re reference a dog Right. <laughs> Very odd dog. I got gotcha. you. Um, right. <laughs> but then, okay, so we've done this. And then, so the next one, you're, you're, how are you building on top of that? You're building more newspaper? Yeah. Okay, so I'll go to the next stage. I think now I'm going to do the legs. So the front legs, I get a sheet of paper. That's just one sheet. I'm folding it at the top. I might actually, so it's folded, it's scrumpled. I'm going to fold it there and add a bit more shape. And I'm going to put that running down the leg like that. This is the front leg. And we can't see what you're I doing. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got a scrumpled bit of paper yeah. running down the length of the leg. I'm going to tape it on. And I'm going to paper on at the top. Um, so I taped it on at the top. There's a little bit extra at the bottom. I'm not really going to worry too much about that. Um, 
And it, it's very basic. I'm going to leave it like that for now. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Let me have a look, quick look at it again. Yeah, Let me just sorry. see the look. Yeah. Mm. OK, OK, right. So it's slightly, it's slightly thicker here where it meets the body. Like, yeah. it's not, it's basic at the moment. It's basically just a leg shape. Uh, or, or it's very basic shape. It's got a bit more here, which is a bit of a, you know, bit of a muscle here at the top of the leg as well. Yeah. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay. So getting a sheet. I'm pulling it up. And it's not like I'm making a ball that I'm sticking on the top for the top. I'm actually running the whole sheet down the leg with a little bit more of a bulk at the top. So running down the leg like that. I'm just going to run and get more newspaper. Oh. Um, I have the green basement, the green. So, I actually think I'm going to put a little bit more on here as a bit of a leg muscle at the back. I wonder if I'd zoom in. I'll just try zooming in and see what happens. No, I can't zoom in with that, I don't think. No, I can't. Um, so, yeah, I'll add a little bit more at the back of the leg. You know, there's like a sort of elbow at the top of the dog's leg. Green. Green curry. Um, can, how's the sitting dog? Is that me? <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it, it's, it's standing and it doesn't quite look like a dog. Yet. Can you hold it up? Can you hold it up? How big a screen have you got? It's massive. <laughs> right. yeah, that I, is want to, I want to make a Labrador. Okay, that is totally massive. So you, uh, you need um, loads of newspaper in this part, you know, the, the bit, the sort of chest area. Yeah. Um, so you need to scrumple up loads and loads of newspaper for yeah. that. I'm going to be doing an all-nighter here. <laughs> yeah, well, you can take your time. The next workshop is on Friday. And what are you, what are you covering on Friday? Are you starting from the beginning again? No, I doubt it. I think... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I you think, hope not. <laughs> uh, I will hopefully be finishing off the dogs that are here. Um, right, okay. Um, hopefully Papi mashing on Friday. Um, right. But, like, basically, as, yeah, if you look at the PDFs, really. Yeah, I um, have done it before, but... Yeah, um, like, you can come, yeah. you can come with it at any stage. So, yeah. I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I suppose what I'll do is I'll just adapt the workshop to if it's only this many people, which probably will be. I'm afraid I'm not going to make it on Friday. That's fine. I'll basically adapt the workshop to suit who's here. So right. I'll, I'll help you as good as I can. Like yeah. if I show everyone how to papi mache, once you know how to do that, yeah. it's very easy. There's very little guidance needed on that part. Yeah. Um, it'd be great if the dogs were ready for papi mashing. Some of them may be, some of them may not be. We'll see. We'll see. We'll know a bit more about that towards the end of the workshop today. Right. But you, yeah, have you got loads of newspaper? Yeah. Brilliant. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Well, if, like, um, you can add, because it's such a big dog, you can get, um, like, you can get... You can get a bottle. You can get yeah. a bottle and put it in as well. Do you know what I mean? You can yeah. get other stuff to take the bulk. Yeah. If it's a really big you dog. Put, um, like polystyrene in it. Yeah, you can put anything in it. Yeah. Anything that's not going to rot, basically. Um, <laughs> so no left leftover fish suppers then. No, no, no. <laughs> no that would go smelly. Um, yeah. Um, but
But yeah, like if you think you've not got a newspaper, enough newspaper, I would almost recommend doing that. Yeah, I think I have got a lot of paper, but I I thought last time I, you know, I remember you saying to me years ago when we did that one, you yeah. kept saying, no, it needs to be fatter, it needs to be fatter. And okay, did you like, make a dog? So, did you I make a dog? dog? Yeah, but it, it's, um, it lives in the loft now with a bit of a broken leg and... Okay, well, you can repair it. You can take it out and finish it as well. Yeah, it's just, it, it, it was a sort of more of a pog. It looked like a cross between a pig and a dog. Because <laughs> I wasn't referencing any, now I'm trying to reference okay. pictures of Labrador. So actually, hopefully it ends up like a yeah, dog. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good idea to have pictures. <laughs> Definitely. Um... So, what's happened to Tom? Um, yeah, I'm here, but I'm just wondering how you all are. Are you all, shall I show you the next stage, which is the back leg? Oh, please. Okay. So, yeah, the back leg is basically similar to the shape that we made, the sort of triangle type shape. So I'm scrubbing up paper. I'll get a bit more. I'm scrubbing it up as I go. And it's kind of semi-triangular. Um, you kind of, yeah. And then I'm sticking that on. Very quick. Sorry? Not into a dog. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's that's a kind of back leg. <laughs> on and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit of newspaper I'm going to scumple it along the length and fold it you don't have to do it in exactly this technique but basically yeah. you're using the paper along the length of the leg and the back leg I'm going to actually add um, a little bit of shape towards the back so bend, bend that a little bit, maybe. And Let's add. have a look, though, Tom. I can't I see. Do the wrong legs first. So this is the back leg. Yeah. yeah. Imagine... See, you're, you're a bit. You're too low down. We can't. You're working off screen. We can't oh. see. We oh. can't see oh, what you you're. Can't see the screen. Yeah, we can see the screen, but we can't see. We can only see your lovely self. We can't see the dog. Oh, I've got the wrong. See your shoulders. Yeah, yeah, it's the top. It's the top one again. Is um. Okay, sorry. No, you're grand. A lot of cello, isn't it? I didn't. Yeah. Know. Is that it now? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, better. Yeah, that's but... better. Okay, so I'll take that off because you maybe didn't see that bit. I did the wrong legs first. Doesn't matter anyway. Um. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't really yeah. matter. Um. Always like it's sometimes you end up putting the paws on going the wrong direction, so it's always good <laughs> to keep an eye on where the tail is. Yeah, um, so yeah, basically, that's rolled into roughly doesn't look like it there, but that's roughly a triangle shape, okay? Yeah, and then I'm sticking that on for the back leg muscle. Um, Holding it in place and sticking it on. And then the, what I'm doing is I've got a piece scrumpled up a little bit like the front leg, but I'm going to have a little bit more at the top and I'm actually going to tape that on so that there's a little bit more at the back of the leg. It's a little bit, it's not ideal this zoom thing to see it but there's a bit of the shape is going at the back of the leg. 
I don't know if, if it makes any sense there on that one, for example. The shape is, uh, I'm adding extra shape here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, rather than here. So it's going at the back. And I'm just going to take that in place. And I'm actually going to leave that as the sticking out. And that'll be for the paw. That on. That on. Now the bottom of the leg is kind of there. So yeah, if you can all have a little look at this, this is how to make a paw. Um, so you basically what you're doing is you're scrumpling it up. You're folding it in, scrumpling it up. And there you can see that's roughly a paw. Yeah. There's not enough paper in that. That's too small. Okay, so I'm going to open it up again. And I'll get a bit more paper. I don't need a full sheet. Probably need probably about that much. So I'm scrumpling that up. And I'm actually going to sort of add that in and scrumple it in. And then I'm, I'm, I'm making it roughly into a paw shape and I'm just sort of scrumpling it quite tight to actually see, is that okay? You can take more paper out if it's not, but I think I'll get away with that. So I'm just gonna tape that in place. So that's, that's roughly a paw shape. With a bit, you can see there, there's a bit more at that side than on this side at the back. So the back leg looks something like that. Uh, again, that's loose. So you, it's quite hard to see, but there's a bit of loose paper on there, but that's more or less like that. Um, so that's, yeah, that's the part. I think I'll do another part at the front. So I'm gonna, and that front leg is quite thin. So I'm gonna actually thicken it up a little bit by adding a little bit more paper at the bottom. then this stuff, I'm going to scrumple it back in. And that'll make a paw. I actually just was thinking, I should be showing you how to do the sitting dog at the same time. So I'm going to, going to basically show you, I shouldn't have done, I shouldn't have got done this far. I should have shown you, I wanted to show you the sitting dog first. So basically I'm going to make it sit. So bending the front legs forward. And it'll be like that. So the, this bit, I'll turn it around actually. So, <clears throat> are the front legs long enough, or do you make them long enough with paper? Um, yeah, you make them with wire. You always have wire in it. Um, but you can. I'll just try and get a good camera angle. <clears throat> So there's a, there's a shape there. The front leg is pretty much the same. Okay. There's no, pot. that needs a paw. So if, if I was making a paw on the front leg, I'm gonna, you can't see what I'm doing, but it's basically just, I'll show you better when we do, I'll do it again. So there'll be a paw there at the front. Um, but I don't want to show you that one because that's the standing dog muscle. So the... Does this go up anymore? No, it doesn't. Oh. So basically, yeah, for the front, 
what I'd recommend you doing for the front, uh, the back leg, that's this. You get a, a bit of newspaper, scrumpling it up. I'm actually going to stick this on because I'd like I'd like to show you this bit. Okay. You, you stick it on. Slightly wider at the end so that you can see there's a paw there. You know, there's a slightly wider bit here. So there's actually definition of a paw. Um, I'm going to take, needs a bit more tape. It's not very secure. Well, that's that's the sitting dog is kind of like that. This is a bit loose, so it's kind of distracting. Actually, I'm going to take that off because that's distracting as well. And then what you make, the next shape you make is the back leg muscle for here. Getting a few sheets of paper. This is quite a small dog, so I might even get away with two sheets. And I'm making quite a round shape. And I'm going to stick that on. Yeah, I'll stick that on. Are you um, recording this, Tom? Sorry? I am recording it, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I'll send you it all. Well, the plan is to put it on um, YouTube and I'll send you a link. I hope that's okay with everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super. Oh. So that's his haunches, basically. Yeah, that's the back leg muscle. Yeah. Like, obviously, it's quite thin, at the it's quite thin here. So we'll, for the sitting dog, we'll add a bit more in there. Um, I actually should have a, it'd be better if I had done a sitting dog because I can't do this all the way through. Um, so I should have got a sitting dog prepared. Sorry about that. No, don't worry. I think we're just, well, I think I'm getting the gist of just the manipulation of the paper to make it. Yeah, yeah there's a little film that I'll show you as well. Like it shows you, there's a little five minute film that shows you the the dogs, um, different dogs, and I'll, I'll put that on. And I've also uploaded loaded a film of me making a dog like this, so which is a standing dog as well. But basically, yeah, the sitting dog, the front legs are pretty much the same as a standing dog. Um, so then there'll be more on the back. This, this as a sitting dog, I would probably, I would probably give it more here underneath this part. Yeah. It's quite hard to see, but that's, <clears throat> so the main thing is a round muscle here, round muscle there for the, for the back. And then this bit here, which is kind of a paw. You can definitely see a paw, the tail then. You can decide what to do with the tail. I don't do many tails down along the ground, but you know, there's no harm in doing that. Um, it's great if you have photos though to refer to sitting dogs or if you have a re even a real dog, you can look at a real dog. Um, but I'll go back. So basically we'll go back to making this uh, standing dog. And we actually, we might get away with that as it is. It's a diff slightly different shape, but I can kind of squeeze it into, squeeze it more or less into the sit standing position. Tom, would you mind in your own time doing the paw, adding on the paws again? Because I got yeah. a bit lost. Yeah. yeah, I'm very lost on the paw. Is this cam camera angle better than the other one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the, the paw, I'm getting a bit of paper, scrumpling it along the length. Okay, so I've got a bit of paper. It's, it's all scrumpled up. I'm adding that. I'm actually going to add it going down the leg. Okay. So I'll take that into place. It's running down the length of the leg. I'm 
Okay, so then well, you basically have that. Okay, so you have, um, it'd be nice to get that lead out of the way. Yeah, you have that, and then what you do, it's pretty difficult to do that. And then I'm rolling that up, scrumpling it and rolling it. And you see roughly, that's, that's like a paw. I if see. Anything, that's, too, that's too big of anything. So I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna unscrumple it and I'm gonna take a bit of take a bit of newspaper out of it and then I'm gonna scrumple it again. Around it. Is that okay? Is that understandable? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, much more so than the first time. Yeah, this camera angle is maybe better. I wish I could make it a little higher. Um, I'll see if I can find something to put the camera on. I'll just try something. To find it here. Yeah, that's a bet. I think that's better. Okay. So the back leg. Do another paw, I think, on the other side. The front needs a paw. So again, scumping up the paper. I'll have that, I think I'll have that running down the leg again to make the leg a little bit thicker. Um, I think this is going to be a mongrel. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <Don't think. laughs> <clears throat> and then basically what I'm doing is so I've got the newspaper there again scrumpling it up rolling it up um, yeah I think you want the paws roughly to be the same size unless you're making a weird abstract dog then you can do it. <laughs> um, but this one is um, it, again I think it's slightly too big so I'll just take out a little bit of newspaper. <clears throat> See what you mean? Too big to start with before you layer it up. Um yeah, yeah, you make you, you make the shape the shape. I didn't actually hear what you said properly. No, I was actually thinking, should there's lots of layers have to go on over this anyway? So we're just getting the kind of the base form of it. Yeah, well, you want the shape. You want the basic shape. You don't want to be making the shape with the papier mache. In saying that, you can still change the shape later on. You can still modify it, but you want the main shape done. You can see the back leg there because that was a sitting dog. Um, yeah, that's the sitting dog, and then I've just done that. It's a little too thick. This bit, in comparison with the other leg, is too thick. So a useful tool is a craft knife, but I don't actually have one, but handy. So I'm just gonna, 
I'm going to take some of that ink paper off. Uh, and I'm going to add do the back leg again. So I'm going to have scumple that newspaper running down and I'm going to add it to the back, the back of the leg and extra coming out to the paw. And I'll take that on. I'm going to take that down a little more at the back. This dog has got very stumpy legs. Um, yeah, well, that's okay. It can be a stumpy legged dog. <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be. Um, this one, I'm going to then bend this in. Rolling up to do the back part again. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, I'm not really at the poor stage, but. That's okay. My, this dog is very skinny, so it looks almost like a kind of lamb leg bone. How do I fill in his tummy? Just keep filling in with... Yeah, yeah, like for the... If you're making a really big dog, like this area... Yeah. Needs to be really big. Yeah. Like I'm talking like... There's some avocados there, but I don't know what they're like. I think they might be too soft now. Big. Okay, um, so... So quite um so a chunky chest. Yeah, really chunky. Yeah. Chunky, loads of sheets. Okay. Yeah, guys, look at that. Yeah. Okay, so then quite a chunky tummy as well. Yeah. Mm, okay. So that's just keeping that almost long oval shape going all the way down. Yeah, you're keeping an oval shape here for this area. Yeah, yeah. Um but if you're making a big dog, you're you're using like 40 sheets. You're scrumpling loads of sheets until you've got a big egg, a big egg shape. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're well, not, I mean, at the minute, it. I'm just, I kind of feel like I'm just getting the feel of it, but I have, I have ended up with a very long bodied creature. Yeah. It, yeah, I recommend you scrumpling loads of sheets at once. And um, yeah. Okay. Like not adding, not adding two or three sheets at a time, adding like 15, 20 sheets at a time. Okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna put on a little film um, that it shows you a few, a few different uh, dogs and variations and how to, how you can sort of manipulate them kind of at this stage. There's a few sitting dogs and uh, it'll just give you a little bit of an idea that it's a very sort of flexible technique. You know, you can change while it's like this, you can change the form of it. If you wanted to make it kind of turning, you can turn it. Um, yeah, it's a very flex. And I think the film kind of will give, hopefully give you an idea. And it, it's just about five minutes long. So you can have a look at that. Um, you can have a cup of tea as well, if you like. I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'm having a glass of wine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's wine very is, relaxing. Uh, cool. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to find it. Can you see my screen? My okay. Yeah. yeah. Hello, I'm 
going to show you a few dogs in progress. This one is a, a sitting dog, a little bit misshapen, almost ready for puppy mashing. There's a lump there. One thing you can do, if you, for example, see the way the legs are coming forward, puppy mashing with a piece of string around here. You can tie them legs back. It'll stay more in position. Needs more on the back there. What else? Ears aren't done. They can be sticking up, built like triangles, or bent down. I'll show you another dog. This one is an unfinished dog. No head. Room for a head there. Um, back leg you can see is uh, undone. This could be a pissing dog, so the back leg can be lifted up. This is also like a puppet. Moving parts that can be taped up. Not a bit more needed on the back. You can see it's quite loose, this one. Uh, this was an attempt at a running dog. Um, so I was actually going to put a stick underneath it so that the feet are off the ground. Um, you can see that can be a standing dog as well. Let me go back, standing dog. Uh, this can be like that. So, you know, like a playing dog. So bending the front legs forward, making a playing dog. Very big ears, but they can they can come down if it's a basset hound. You want really big ears. It's not the body of a basset hound. Um, I'll show you another dog. Um, this dog. This is the one that was photographed for the uh, PDF files. You can see it's quite solid without being really, really tight. So this one is ready for puppy mache. Although you can see two different types of ear, one sticking up. That needs to be taped down. Actually, you can get away with that, but that will be taped down. And one ear coming down, which is just, you know, very simple. That's the structure with a bit of newspaper stuck on. Uh, paws all a bit scrappy, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Underneath, yeah, that's a small dog. A uh, sitting dog, the headless sitting dog. So again, you can see that front leg is kind of going to the side. So you can be quite tough with them. There. There's a bit of a gap there, so it needs more cardboard there. Uh, obviously needs a head. There's a pair with a little piece of wire for hanging. Nothing to do with dogs, but you can see it's very strong. So you can make that takes time. Um, Okay, here's a little dash hunt. Uh, no front legs, all a bit scrappy. Back legs, tail, bend. This one on the back, place uh, for a head. Uh, yeah, so that's a dash hunt. A thing dash hunt would be like that, just bending the back legs. Here's a dog that's uh, finished. Uh, well, it needs to be covered. I'm going to paint this one, so it needs to be covered again. Uh, another dog that's far from being finished. More here. Um, yeah. Same dog. If this was to be a... Uh, a playing dog. The legs could just be you know, bent forward like that. Yeah, so that's that's good. 
Okay. Uh... Okay. Um, so yeah, that was a um, little film. Wasn't playing very well. I think that's because the computer is doing so many things at once. Uh, I'm just going to run through the PDF of a sitting dog. Um, so I'll, I'll do this quite slowly so that you can like uh, hopefully refer to the recording. Um, There are three pieces of wire. I think we got to that stage, so that's okay. That's just about if you're needing to join a bit on. So, yeah, this is one way to do the armature for a sitting dog. You're making a big shape here. It's all, I think it almost feels bigger on a sitting dog than it does on a standing dog, it's more noticeable. Also at the back. Um, you're doing the front legs similar to the similar to the standing dog. There's a little bit of a form, bigger form here at the top, a bigger muscle here. Hope you can see the cursor. You can't really very well, but um, and then Next one, that's just how to make the paw. Again, rolling up the newspaper. And you're repeating the process with the front, the other leg on the other side. And then with the sitting dog, you still need to do this figure of eight thing so the legs don't go splaying wide. Um, <laughs> that's good, there's the real dog. And then the back leg. You're adding a paw, so the paw's a little bit bigger. Um, <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so you're kind of suggesting a paw. And then you're scrumpling the newspaper and running up down the length of the dog. So you can see there, there's a bit of a gap. And basically you want to fill that gap. Right, good. And then you're making a roughly a rounded shape there. And that's the sort of the leg muscle. Um, this bit here afterwards, it may be a little bit thin. You might want to thicken it on the outside of that so it's not really thin. Ideally refer to a real dog or to photos of, as you do it. Um, so there's some photos. I never do this. This is... Yeah. It's complicated having Quiet. the elbow and things. I always yeah. just simplify it and just have this bit sticking out. Um, so, Tom, when you finish with your newspaper scrumpled up on your and your cellar tape, yeah, how much more are you adding? So, from a from a size point of view, are you? I, how much volume are you adding? Are you adding another sort of twenty percent? I mache. Um, I'd need to have a look at the, what you're doing. It's too difficult to say, but if you don't mind, I'm just going to run through this. Yeah, and sorry. Can, okay. Um, so then when you're making the tail, you can scrumple the newspaper and have it running up the tail, up the length of the tail. It's thicker at the bottom. It's thicker near the where the tail joins the body. <laughs> um, and then I'll go to the next one. So yeah, that's more or less it. It's more or less ready. There's, a, you see the back is still not very straight. Perhaps it could have a little bit more there, but it's more or less, more or less done. Um, so yeah, what was the question, sorry? Okay, so let's say to the image that's there now. Yeah. Um, are you adding another sort of 20% of layers to the to, to to the dog to you know like what i'm saying is with the glue with the glue and the and the cardboard yeah the glue and the cardboard uh, doesn't really change the shape very much um it yeah. doesn't it doesn't add 20 percent anyway it maybe adds two percent okay. if anything okay uh, okay huh. yeah okay okay um, so the layers of that it's just making almost like a, a nutshell around it yeah yeah, pretty much. 
basically covering what you have made and and bringing it all together. If there's holes, you can get rid of them, flatten, yeah. flatten it, flattening out the shape. But basically, yeah. yeah. Now this this stage is the most important stage. This is where you're making the shape. Okay, brilliant. Can, okay. After you have your mash it, and once it's dry, you can still come back to it and change the shape. And I'll show you how to do that when we get to that stage. Cool, thanks. Nice Brilliant. Stage. Cool. I think I might do that with the other PDF because it might potentially be useful for you to, to look through. Um, it seems that it might be useful. Mm -hmm. um, All right. So, um, making a dog. Ooh. Is it like? Hmm? Is it? Is so, I'm no, just, just going to sort of talk Sorry. through this um, so that you can all get an idea. So, you're not talking yeah. about that at the moment. I don't think I need to go through this. I think you've all got that. You've all got an armature. Um, and you can check that. You can pause it if you need to when you're looking back. The main mass, the main form is this sort of oval shape that goes between the front legs. Uh, and then you're doing this figure of eight around the legs and that yeah. just holds them in place. Um, that's You don't need to do that too tight. It's not about holding them really tight. It's just about holding them in position rather than holding them tightly. Uh, and then you're doing the front leg and you're having the newspaper running down the length of the leg. There's an extra bit at the top, the leg muscle at the top you get is <clears throat> bigger and the newspaper runs down. If there's any coming out at the end, it's fine because that will become the paw. And this can, this is how to make a paw. You basically, you have the newspaper running down. That can be taped up. It's actually a good idea to tape it in place at the bottom before you do the paw. So tape that in place before you do the paw. It actually isn't a great photo. I should have taped that in place. But the main thing is that you're rolling the paw, scrumpled paper into a rough round shape for the paw. And then you're, hold, you're taping that up. This is all quite thick and loose, but that, that gets tightened up a little bit later. So there's a round, rounded shape at the bottom of the leg. Um, the back leg, this is the muscle here. It's probably the biggest, I, maybe it's even the biggest muscle on a dog. I don't know, but it's quite a big shape. And it's kind of rounded or in this, I always say it's more triangular, but you know, in this it's more oval. Um, and that basically gets stuck on the back leg. This is a good time to bend. You know, if you look at that, there's a little bend in the back leg. Um, if you're doing a walking dog, I think it's worth sort of Googling that and finding images for the position of the legs. Um, like, but there is a bend there and you've taped the muscle on for the back leg. And then you're adding the, the the paw, but you're also adding adding shape on on the back of the leg. So you're not adding so much here. It's more adding a little elbow like that elbow there at the back of the leg, rolling up the paw, and then oh, actually this this slide is kind of showing you again. I'm actually adding extra newspaper on there to sort of suggest this form here. And then there's a bit of a hole there at the, at the, on the back. So that's paper running, kind of a scrumpled paper running along the length. And you actually want that to be quite a smooth shape. Um, like there, you would from above, you'd see a spine in some dogs. Um, but that, that's not so important, but you'd actually have a, a fairly smooth shape. You don't have this big, big bow, sort of big. If you're doing a, someone's doing a whippet type dog, this area here obviously it needs to be really thin. This, this area. The legs are also quite thin. Don't do them so thick. Um, obviously, if you're making it hairy, that comes later. I'll tell you how to do that. 
um, the rounded shape. Uh, that's basically sticking a rounded shape on to suggest the ribs. Um, it's just sort of widening up the dog's form there. All the paws are made. The tail. Of this, oh no, this is the tail. I did that wrong in the slides, but the, the tail like is, is running newspaper up and down the length of the, the wire and the and it's thicker where it joins the body. So you can actually put that to a point of the tape. Um, again, adding a little bit more running along the length of the tail. And there's a bit of a point that's held together with tape. Um, and that's, that's a little slide, but that's the end of that. Um, and there's these as well. I don't think this is particularly useful, but we just have a quick look. I'll see if it's worth looking at. Yeah, so it's actually four pieces because there's a piece for the ears. We'll be coming up to that. Yeah, this isn't so useful, so I'm just going to go through it without explaining. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so you do work on all the legs. And then the paw, one paw, all the paws, the tail. Uh, this one actually has some on the back and then the triangle shape with a bit extra for the back leg again. Again, bending the wire here. Um, yeah, a little bit more for this area for sort of the neck. And then we haven't done the head yet, but you'll be putting a sort of ball shape between the ears. I'll show you how to do that when we come to it. The muzzle as well, <clears throat> a bit there and a bit more, making this sort of rounded shape, but we'll come to that. And then triangles for the ears, they're sticking up ears. And then if it's sloping down ears, it's kind of folding into a rounded shape, roughly getting an ear shape. And then that's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tom. No worries. Thanks. Um, so now we're back to. Can you see this camera here where my hand is? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Then that's the right one. Um, so what what stage are people at? Or uh, confused. <laughs> Okay, can you show me the dog you're making the, who's confused? Well, Tom, yeah. Yeah that, look, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I've got one more leg to do. Okay. <laughs> and the paws aren't so great, but I I, I, I can work on that yeah, cool. afterwards. And was there someone else who's confused? Yeah, Tom, can I just ask you to have a look at this dog? Um, yeah, can you hold it right up in front of the camera? Yeah. A little bit closer, maybe? Okay, it looks like, it looks grand. Basically, if you see this one, it's similar to this. We haven't done the back yet. So that's, okay. that's all. Okay, I, yeah, that's where I felt that there was a big dip between the, the shoulders and the bum area. Yeah, there is, but we haven't done that yet. Are the, okay. Paws, the paws are roughly the same size? Yeah, roughly. So, yeah, that's all good. Yeah, that's the same stage as me. Yeah, okay. Um, if the legs are too wide, you can take them in a little bit. But mm. see, there's still movement in that. But once it's covered in papier-mâché and dry, it won't move anymore. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. Um, I'm just going to show you this. If you, uh, it's not quite secure. But because it's so long, yeah, I'll just um, such short legs. It is going to be a bassetan, but I've never seen a bassetan. I mean, I haven't seen one for a long time. Yeah. So I think it needs a lot more beefing yeah. up. Yeah, where your hand is, where your finger is holding it, it needs a lot of shape there. Yeah, flat here. Yeah. yeah. And here. Yeah, yeah. Um, it still, it still should be bigger here. 
I've got one here. Yeah. This is a kind yeah. of um, yeah. So it's kind of bigger here. They've actually got folds of skin here, but I always simplify that. I don't do it. Okay, let's not go there. But so it's so its chest is nearly on the ground as well. Oh yeah, yeah, it's very close to it. Yeah, it is very close to it. Um, and it does go back a little bit, but it doesn't go like a whip. It goes right back. It's very thin here. But yeah, yeah. basket hound is almost straight along there. Yeah. Okay. I just need to keep adding. I just I kind of started off yeah. um, with no, something too long, really. And they have very big paws as well. Yeah. Um, we can work on that. Yeah. Um, Aileen, how's your dog going? Uh, I, can you unmute? Yeah, that looks good. It's huge, it's huge. Yeah, it is. It's very big. Um, <laughs> it's a so, lovely doodle. So basically what you <laughs> need to do... Sorry? Yeah. Lovely doodle. Okay. So yeah, what you need to do is your wire strong enough <laughs> so can stand on, Can that stand up? <laughs> So it can it can actually stand up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, I would say what you should work on is run if I were you, just because the legs are very thin still, yeah. run this paper down the legs. Yeah. Yeah. And, that on, yeah. and then also add the back leg muscle. Yeah. You add that, that'll kind of firm up the legs. Yes. Yeah. Um, it looks like the chest area, the front, between the front legs. Yeah. Possibly, uh, yeah, possibly, uh, maybe it's okay. Um, but perhaps the back of it should have more. It, needs, yeah. it probably needs okay. more back legs. I am a put um, and, then, and then, so I would, I would recommend running paper yeah. right right the way down yeah. the leg, and actually that is attached also to the body. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do this. Thank you for this. Yeah. Um, I need to so, take a break. Thank you. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, is anyone else wanting to ask? Can, can you, would you mind Tom having a look at my <laughs> Cillian? Okay, yeah. Um, That's his I think, yeah, I think the back legs look a little wide. Okay. okay. So maybe tape them in place a little bit closer. Perfect. And the front are a bit skinny, are they? Um, no, the front look like they're okay, but okay. there looks like you need a bigger area coming through the front legs. Okay. Um, yeah. So do the figure of eight on my back legs to kind of pull them in a bit. So, yeah, I think they, they look kind of like they're going a bit like that. Yeah, Sometimes that's like my dog. <laughs> bring them in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm going to carry on with this one. Um, so I'm going to on the back. Um, and I'm going to put it along the back. Um, actually, yeah, you can see there's a hole there. I don't want to put too much on top of that. I think that shape's almost big enough, but I want to fill this hole. I'll take that in place. I don't knock down the chest. Um, I think it's yeah. too long. Can you get her in there? Just get her in. <laughs> was that a, was that a avocado? Barking, okay. barking competition. I was doing something else. I didn't realize this was going for so long. Oh, 
I'll um I'll mute this for you. It's a little bit thin, you know. You can see it's quite thin. There's no ribs. There's no form. Actually, I could tighten it up there a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna tighten it underneath. So it's a little tighter there. You don't like. Now, I think I'm going to make like ribs. And it's a little bit too much, maybe at the back. So I'm going to tighten that up a little bit. And I, it's still a little thin on that side. It's quite hard to show you, but it's a little thin there still. So it's it's funny how you can't really see the form uh, on the screen. It's really difficult to see the actual shape. But I'm gonna add a little, little bit more to suggest to make a sort of rounded shape for the for the ribs. Take that in place. So, Tom, how many dogs have you made? Uh, I did, well, in workshops, uh, probably about. Like these aren't dogs that I've made myself, but I've yeah. seen probably the making of about, probably about 700. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic. And then the tail, I'll show you how to do the tail. So, let's change the camera a little bit. So that's just wire at the moment. So I'm getting a bit of paper, strumpling it up. Actually making it a little thicker at the bottom by folding it in and having that running up the tail, kind of squeezing it into shape and then just going round it with tape. You can actually twist it at the end and make that tight. So it's pretty much going to a point. Um, again, it's a little thin. You can see it's thin where it joins the body. So I think I'm going to make it a bit thicker. Yeah, too thin there. You can also like, because it's, it's not very tight, you can squeeze it into the right shape. Get in the sheet of paper. I'll tear it a bit. I don't need the full sheet. Scrumpling it, always scrumpling it up so it's kind of soft. And then adding that on like that. There's not actually wire in that bit of the tail, but it doesn't matter because once that's got newspaper and papi mache on it, that's going to be strong enough. Um, yeah, that looks kind of okay. Just having a look at the whole dog, that, that paws a little, needs a bit of a squeeze. Yeah. Um, there's a bit of a, this is, you know, 
it's a bit loose there. So I'm actually going to add a bit more newspaper. Probably less than a full sheet, but and I'll add that going up, up the back of the leg. Oh, nice. Okay, nine o'clock. <laughs> Um, so that yeah, that's more or less okay. Like at this stage, for example, if you're wanting to make it walk, you could actually just you can be quite rough with them and bend bend the legs into different positions. I can go out fine. Well, maybe I'm gonna put it outside. So so yeah, that kind of looks like it's walking, and I think walking dogs are quite good. So I think I might do this as a walking dog. Uh, one thing that's quite nice with the dog, you can do like the front legs can kind of come forward. Like obviously they don't, you don't want the paws to be like that, but it's a kind of like a playing dog with the front legs coming forward. You can, uh, but I don't want to do a playing dog. And then you can actually lift the back leg and you can do a peeing dog. So you can, yeah, you can kind of, you might need to work on that shape. But then it's going to be on three legs. Um, but you could add a bit more shape there, but I don't think it. Anyway. Just put it back in the cube And then just looking again at it. it it's not standing very, very tall, so it's a little bit wonky. It'll need a bit more here. On this side, it's quite round on that side. I'll put a bit more here. Yeah. And the back is still still it's higher here than uh here there's a bit of a bump at the back so I want okay. the back more or less flat so, I'm not sure how this would have worked if there had been 50 people. It might <laughs> I'd say you'd be demented. Yeah, it might have been mental. Like, I couldn't have people talking, I don't think. No, you'd have to mute everyone. Yeah. So in some ways, it's better. And also, yeah. I don't know. It means that I'm not going to have to be on the internet. I'm doing Zoom. You know, this, we just do a few. I think it's, I think it's, um, I think people are sick of Zoom. This is really relaxing. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm enjoying it as well. But um, yeah, it, I thought that, you know, when I sent out the emails, I was thinking that I'd hear back from loads of people. And it was like, I should have sent that email a week ago, but I didn't realize that. I thought it would be okay on Monday. But I don't think, I don't think people, I think people are, I think it's the lockdown is starting to ease. So people are just wanting to be, and it's summer as well. So yeah, this would have been great in January or February. It yeah. would have been brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Been the way to do it. But one thing I do like about it is that it's kind of like, originally there was people in Taiwan interested. <laughs> So the way that you can actually use the, the Zoom to have 
workshops. I don't think it's ideal for workshops, but you know, conferences are, it's actually quite a useful tool. Yeah, because I, I, I do ceramics and I've gone to, also, gone to all sorts of conferences sitting here at home. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. And that way it works really well. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's good. And we, and we wouldn't have done it, except for we had to, you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. It, totally. It, it wouldn't have happened. But I have a lot of friends in India, and I like I attended things that they were doing yeah. online, people talking and stuff, and it was cool. Yeah, that's cool. I think that aspect of it, the good aspect of it, will carry on as well. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of conferences, it costs you lots of money to go, and... Yeah. You know, now it's more egalitarian. People can can take part. Yeah. And a lot a lot of the workshops that they do, they pre-record. Okay. So you have somebody demonstrating how to make something. Other it's not a hands-on one. Okay. But then they've pre-recorded it. So people can ask questions in the chat and be answered in, in real time. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah, no, it works quite well. It certainly works for the ceramics. Yeah, that's brilliant. And because people are pre-recording and stuff, and you just get to see the details far more. If you're at a, at a conference, you miss most of it. Yeah, that, it, yeah, it does. That's great. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's opened up a whole world to the ceramics world anyway. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, they're doing one in a couple of weeks uh, from uh, sort of a Canadian-based one, but it's, it's 72 hours of demonstrations and talking and everything. And if you pay a certain amount, I think it's like fifty nine dollars. You get access for the whole year, well, forevermore. Wow! Yeah, that's you sick. don't have to be on for seventy two hours. Yeah, but you'll have that recorded, and you can. Yeah, it's all recorded, and you and you you get access. At, like it's ten dollars to attend without any other access, but I pay for the the other one, and I can watch them at, at my leisure for the rest of my life. Yeah, that's really useful. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Okay, my dog. Are we go are we doing the head and everything today? Um, what time is it? Yeah, how long are we going? Um, <laughs> well, we're I think we should keep with the plan, which was to go till nine o'clock. Oh, was it? Yeah, I couldn't remember. Um, what I can't see the time. It's I, it's ten past eight. Yeah, we, we are gonna start the head. We're actually, well, I'm, I'm kind of almost ready to start the head. Yeah. I don't well, know. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Yeah. Oh, you need to watch I've never done anything like this before at all, ever. Yeah. I, it's, I don't know. It's a, it's a nice feel like, I don't know if you could make a dog in papier mache and then cover it in clay. And then cut the clay off. I'm not sure, or burn the burn the paper out. You can burn the paper out um, because I do use formers with with clay, with, with uh, but not not but not like they're abstracty things. But, uh, but I build I build over with clay all the time. So you could put clay on top of this and then burn the dog out. Yeah, the only problem is that the see the the, the clay shrinks. Okay. So um, it might start cracking off the armature. It would need to be a softer armature. Okay, yeah. Yeah, but, but people do build things. And um, I used to, I build these long standing forms and I'd build them over uh, a broomstick and bubble wrap and stuff. And then when they were leather hard, I would cut them in half, yeah. take, pull them off the former and then stuff newspapers in them and then stick them back together and then fire them yeah. and they'd be hollow and it, it would work really well, but there'd be newspaper ashes falling out of the thing forevermore. Right, yeah, yeah. No, that's but funny. yeah, you can do stuff, but it has to be fairly, um, cause I build over balloons as well, but um, you have to pop them before the thing is completely dry. Yeah, yeah. Cause it just that's bursts. Cool. That is cool. I didn't, I, I hadn't actually thought of putting clay on top of a dog. <laughs> I kind of thought about it, but not actually thought, yeah, I could do that. And 
Well, Perfect. you could do it with air hardening clay. Yeah, I don't like that stuff. No, I know it's horrible. <laughs> but it doesn't shrink in the same way. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, I, I like the idea of, the um, thing is, I wouldn't want to burn sellotape. I wouldn't want to burn plastic. Yeah, I know that's, well, you could use masking tape, which probably isn't quite so plasticky. Yeah, that's, that's true. Um, I think, I suppose also you could do it, like you say, cut it off and try and join it. It'd be quite complicated with the underneath, I think. But. Yeah, yeah, because, um, yeah, it would be very hard to cut it off, especially with the legs and things. Yeah. To get it out. No. But, but it's funny because it is, Partly why I'm doing the workshop was I thought, oh, well, because you can make you can make armatures um, from clay, yeah. but like it, the excuse me, the wire would be the uh, the clay would be the clay um, sticks. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That you already made rolled into to um, worms, but they've gone hard. If you use paper clay, but it's 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 it's, it's a bit complicated to go into here. But you can use that as the armature and build the clay over it. Okay. And that's supposed to work, but... Yeah, I've got some paper clay, but I haven't used it yet. I don't have yeah, I use the kilns. Yeah. So. I use paper clay all the time. Yeah. And you yeah. Make I make it, it myself. You make it hard, do you? Brilliant. Well, I, this way I can use any clay, and I just uh, use uh, toilet paper. You, a roll of... To one bag of clay is about one roll of toilet paper. Let me give a look. Cool. Uh, that's interesting. Um, one thing that I was thinking I might do, because I want to do some clay dogs. So I was thinking I'd make papier mache dogs and then make a plaster mold from that. Yeah. Need to look into it a bit more, but I, uh, I have made molds for, <clears throat> for latex, <throat> but using clay before. Yeah. I'd like to do more of that. Um, so this one, yeah, this one's pretty much ready. So I'm going to show you how, I'm, well, I'm adding a little bit, the front leg there is a little thin, not much muscle definition. So I'm going to add a little bit more muscle, and then I want to show you how to make the ears. The ears are basically one piece of wire. Yeah. Which I'll show you just after I take this on. How long should it be? It depends on the dog. Uh, if you're making, for example, if you're making a basset hound, you can make uh, a loop. Like, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So if you're making this, one way of doing it is to make this one piece of wire. Uh huh. That's a really long piece of wire. Or another way is you just add. Um, you just add one piece of wire the same way that I'll be showing you one piece of wire and then you make the ear shape afterwards um, so for this dog um, I'm gonna mine is just a generic dog now it's not any it's not any style <laughs> uh, probably about I think again if you cut it too long you can just cut it shorter um, yeah. So I've cut a piece like that. It's not quite straight, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, mm -hmm. but what I do is I roll that up paper. I'm just going to roll it in one sheet, but I'm I'm not I'm not going to roll it too tight. Um, but, um, so Lucy, you're doing a basset hand, so you need a really quite a long piece of wire. Okay, so this is ear, ear wire. Yeah, this is, <laughs> yeah. And I'm folding that, I'll let you tear that off. Yeah. Most difficult bit of the workshop is finding the end of the sellotape. <laughs> well, I have a sellotape machine, but it's hopeless because 
you end up just with not not long enough runs with it, you know. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're better just having it as a roll. And I also prefer these rolls than small rolls. Yeah. Um, if you're making a really big sculpture, you can get a few uh, wider rolls. Um, if that's that's uh, made like that. And then I'm basically going to bend that in half like you did with the legs. Um, and then there's the dog. Like some people think, oh, the dogs, like for example, the basset hound, the ears are going down. I never do it that way. I always put them sticking up. Um, and I'm just kind of now you're basically, you don't want, to, you want to put them more or less in the right place. Um, is that the two ears now, Tom, or one? Yeah, that's two, e two oh, okay. ears. That's fine. So one piece of wire. The other one. Uh, and then I'm taping that on. Uh, similar to how you take on the, the legs, going around until it's taped. Uh, and you know how we did the newspaper as a, almost as a piece of string. Yeah. So you get a sheet of paper and you scumple it along the length. And then I don't always do this with the ears, but I think on this time, I think I will. It just makes them a little bit more secure. This this might be too long. And if it is, I either bend it or I'm gonna cut it shorter. So it's not if this was, you know, if this was out to here, it's not necessarily a problem. Um Oh yeah. <laughs> Looks a lot better already. Yeah. So, and then I take that in place. Yeah, and that's the ears. And then I'm gonna follow follow the kind of drawings that I made. This part here is obviously empty. There's nothing there. So I'm gonna get a bit, a couple of bits of newspaper, jump over them up. Hmm. Kind of making this bit for the, I suppose for the neck, and I'm gonna stick that under. Also at this point you're deciding like, is the dog looking up or is the dog looking down? It's quite a good idea to make that decision now. Maybe the dog's looking to the side even. Um, possibly the head is slightly tilted, like, you know. Like... <laughs> this looks like a reindeer. <laughs> yeah, no, that'd be okay. <laughs> then you take that in place. Oh, I'm just being told my internet connection is unstable, so if I disappear, okay. I'll send you. I'll send you the film. Yeah, no, but if I disappear, I can come back by using my phone as a hotspot if necessary. Okay. So I've added a bit for the neck. Um, quite thin, thin here. So I'll, I'll thicken that up as well. Um, I'm going to make, I think before I do that though, I'm going to make roughly a, a sort of ball shape. Um, and I'm going to stick that between the ears of the dog. So that's actually going between the ears. So if you were doing downward ears, you would still put the ears on that way. 
Yeah, you don't bend them down until a later stage. It's actually the last stage. Um, you bend them down once you've got the rough head shape done. Okay. Partly because they get in the way when they're bent down. Uh, yeah, yeah. Then take them that on. Uh, Tom, sorry, now one question. When you're taping on those ears, is, is it to the base of your neck? Yeah, you take them yeah. like, uh, you take them, okay, so say they were the ears. Yeah. That's the ears. That's the dog. They go up. Yeah, fine. Underneath. So that's the head. Um, there's a bit here. I'm going to put some on for the muzzle. And now this is, I suppose, the head. If you get a, the head looking good, it's um, it's the most detailed part, really. Um, so, I, so I'm going to add a bit on there. You know what? I'm going to show you the PDF for the head, how to make a head. I'm going to. I think I'll show you that now. Um, <clears throat> um, I was curious, is there like, can you see all your faces at the top or do you just see the whole screen as the PDF? Over three quarters of the screen and then us down the side. Okay, um, and now, now, is it gone? It's just the screen now and you in the corner. I, well, we can choose to look at different things. Okay. Um, yeah, that's because I, I don't know what I'm recording. I'm, I'm hoping I'm recording the full screen at this stage. So yeah, this is basically how to make the head. These are the ears. Um, <laughs> oh, this isn't working. Oh, there we go. So you're cutting a piece of head. <clears throat> In this case, the smallest dog, it's 25 centimeters long. If it's a basset hound, you make these really long. Um, and then what you do is you make a little V and you, you tape it under, <laughs> under the, yeah. the actual bit that will become the head. Um, and then in this case, what I did was I put some newspaper on the back of the head. Um, so adding form here. Um, and then I added the neck from on the underside of the neck. So that's continuing the sort of the area that's under the head. Going up to the, the bottom of the neck. Now that's a sitting dog. So again, <coughs> a sort of that's a sort of I think so, the sort of main bulk, the main shape of the rib cage, the front of the rib cage. Um, then making the muzzle, so you have a little bit for the ears, between the ears already there, and you're adding a little bit for the muzzle. Um, and then you're trying to, there's a bit of a rounded curve on the dog, you can see the shape there. It's kind of rounded where the yellow line is. So that's kind of um, that's kind of the head that you're wanting. I take it no one's making a pug dog here. <laughs> Not on purpose. Yeah, well, that's good. That simplifies. Pugs are really difficult. I don't make many of them, but I, basically what you're doing is you're making a lot shorter. I don't have a picture, but it's just cut off there, basically. Like um, cut off like nose almost, and then there's a rounded shape. I'm doing it slightly differently from what I just done on the sort of live screen, but there's a, a rounded shape that's put in between the ears of the dog. So that's there. That's the sort of round area with the eyes in it. Um, and then this is the ears. So this is. This is an ear that will go down like this, it's kind of, um, it's quite flat. So you're almost folding that 
it's not so much scrumpling. Well, it's a little scrumple, but it's folding a rounded type shape. Um, you never looked at headers that in great. Yeah. Years ago, so you don't want to. We didn't do them because you know, you're simplifying it. So then this is a pointed. Yeah. Um, so that's a triangular shape. It's quite difficult to get that shallow. So I would almost say don't worry too much about that. The main thing is like, and ultimately what you want is an ear, a sculpture that's strong. So if you're if you are trying to go for this detail, which you can, um, it won't be as strong as if you make this area solid. So that's kind of making a triangular shape and sticking it on the bit of wire that's sticking up. And you make sure you attach that well to the dog that is actually attached to the top of the head. Um, and then that's, yeah, that's roughly the head. It's obviously kind of simplified, but it gives you an idea. Um, I don't think this dog would win Cruff. No, I don't think any of them would. <laughs> But I think Crofts is a bit, a bit daft anyway. Um, yeah. So. Not looking for best in show. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I, um, I don't know. That's a bit of a different world, really. Um, are you seeing, are you seeing this camera? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah. So this now needs a little bit more on the neck. So, um, Tom, can, sorry, can you just recap on the um, the dog's uh, mouth and um, the, the muzzle of the dog? Can you just recap on how you did that? Because I, I just had to go out there for a second. Yeah, I did not see this. I haven't actually done that yet. So I'll, okay. I'll show you when I'm as I'm doing it. Okay, sorry, I thought you had done it, sorry. No, no, okay. not, not really. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is see how thin the neck is there. Yes, mine is also really thin, yeah. yeah. yeah so I'm going to thicken that up. And normally, normally I would have newspaper and I'd put it running up there. But this, the, the most sensible way to do this one would be to put it round the... Round okay. the so I'm just going to thicken that one up like that. What to do the area that you do for tomorrow? Um, so that's that's more or less thick. Um, it is difficult, really, to get a sense of the form from this. I like I'm. Um, but also when there's bits of newspaper that are hanging off, like it doesn't have to all be really, really tight. Another thing, the sellotape is actually useful. Mm -hmm. For example, this okay. is going off the subject, but say for example that leg <laughs> coming forward. What you can do is you can put tape going back, attaching tape going back, running back the way along like that to stop that. But to be honest, once that's covered in papier-mâché, it will hold that shape. Um, yeah. So the neck, okay, the, the muzzle, which is probably the one of the most detailed shapes. I'm getting a bit of paper, especially a half sheet. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And I'm gonna put that, kind of bending it so that it's sloping up, and I'm just going to put that on the top, <laughs> squeezing it on a little bit. Yeah, he's got eyes on the nose. And then. So it's still a little small. It's like there's a bit missing here. So I'm going to get a, a bit of newspaper, crumpling it up. And 
Um, I'm going to stick that underneath here. I can do that in a minute. When you're doing that, I can do that. Yeah, yeah that'll go underneath. I think I'm going to have this dog's head sticking up as if it's looking up. You can see that the this area is too long. It looks a bit weird. But I'm gonna add a bit more here. You know what I mean? Can you see what I mean? Roughly, yeah. It's really long nose. Um, so it looks a bit weird. So I'm gonna take quite a small bit of paper. Actually stick it on there like that. So shortening up the nose by adding more to the, adding more to where the eyes would be. Okay. So it's getting a little bit better, but now I think the nose is slightly too too narrow. It's kind of difficult to see, and the most uh, best place, I think, is to add it on top. So what breed of dog is yours, Tom? It's a mongrel. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a mongrel now. Something a bit more paper. Um, yeah, I'm going to add that. I think that head isn't too bad. There's a bit of a hole there. You know, you can stick your finger in it. So I want to, it's quite, you're adding kind of small bits at this stage, um, just to get the actual definition. So I'm gonna stick some on the side. So on those workshops, Tom, when you're doing it, like with those, the children in in um, Italy, yeah. like, what are you talking, like four hours co contact time? Um, yeah, yeah, it was two sessions in a day. Yeah. Probably from, might have been from half nine till about lunch. And then after lunch, it was two sessions. Yeah. It's a brilliant process. I'm really loving it. I'm not sure whether I'm loving the dog, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it kind of takes a bit of time if it's the first time you've done it. <laughs> but at the same time, you can you can always change change it. And you like, this is... Somebody <laughs> not making workshop. It's normally from 10 to... This is a little bit faster than it would normally work. Right. Um, and if you're making a big dog, yeah, you do need more time. But it's, I suppose it's just important you go away with an idea of what you need to do. So perhaps before we finish, we look at everyone's dog and just 
have an idea what, what needs to be done. Um, and I'll send you an email with how to make glue so that, um, so that you're possibly ready to make glue. I don't think maybe make glue until we can make glue as part of the workshop. But I'm not going to, I probably have the glue already made, but I don't know how to do it. So you can make it yourself maybe during it in case you don't actually need it next on Friday. And then some of you can come as well. Because how long does the glue? Uh, keep. If you keep it in the fridge, you can keep it for probably around a week. Yeah. It doesn't keep indefinitely. Yeah, yeah. If you're not keeping it in the fridge, probably two days. Yeah, yeah. If it starts to ferment, and you can kind of see see when it's. Uh, yeah, because I I actually do a, a a type of firing with a yeast, flour, and water mixture that's fermented for four days. Wow. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it's called a Vara. It's from uh, Russia. Well, I should come to one of your workshops. <laughs> um, so, that's, okay, that's my dog. So this one has still a bit of a funny neck. It's slightly thin, if anything. So I'm just trying to look at it to look where, where it needs it. And what you can do as you're building shapes, you can try them. And go, oh, is that good? No, it's not. Or yeah, maybe there. You know, you can test things out and see what looks right. Um, also, like occasionally some of the dogs, they their necks have been way too long. So the dogs with long necks, you actually sometimes I cut an inch out and then I totally and then just push the head. Yeah. So you can, oh, you can. Yeah, mine's quite long necked, but I, I quite like him. Only about in 20 minutes, okay? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Bye. Bye. So Tom, you just kind of guess the size of the head in proportion to the yeah. body. Mine's looking like a piglet. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, like ideally, ideally you're not taking any newspaper off. Yeah. But you can do, do you know what I mean? Like those. Yeah, no, I'm gonna give it a big head, I think. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of when you're doing the head, it is actually the it's the biggest detailed part. So you're adding small bits at a time. Um, you can you can pat it into shape, you know. I wonder. I was wondering if when we fill in the legs, he's actually going to fill in forward. Is whether it'll shorten the body. Yeah, so there as well, for example, there's quite yeah. a few there. So I'm going to actually add a little bit more here. We'll do the legs more. Um, yeah, so they are a bit more to the yeah. oh. You lose Tom. Sorry, yeah, someone tried to call me. <laughs> Jack Russells have quite long necks, though, sometimes, don't they? Dogs do. Jack Russells. Yeah, yeah, I think they do. Like this one, I think it's slightly long, but I reckon I can get away with it. Oh, mine's, <laughs> mine's more giraffe-like look. <laughs> mine doesn't, I think mine looks very like a Jack Russell, but it doesn't look anything like yours. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's more like a Jack Russell than mine. I don't know. Like, I think this neck, for me, that neck is, it's a little long, like I'm tempted to, oh God. Sorry, I don't know why that happened, but I'm tempted <laughs> to cut that. Tempted to do what I was telling you, cutting this and 
just shortening it. Another way you can do it, a little bit brutal, but you can kind of... <laughs> Killing his dog. Yeah, you can you can squeeze it up and then you can tape it into place. <laughs> you know I mean? That's to try and avoid having... <clears throat> I think you're going to get a call from the SPCA there, Tom. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's going to be mine. We, there was one time someone was going to blow up one of these Papi Mashi dogs with a really good camera, but it never happened. But we're going to do a film of a dog blowing up, but it never actually happened. Um, you mean blowing up like into smithereens? Yeah, yeah. It was just an idea. It was kind of someone who helped us a lot with the filming, was thinking it would make a really interesting film. But uh, we never actually did it in the end. Um, but yeah, these another thing you can do with them is you can uh, put chicken wire over them. Once they're covered in papier-mâché chicken wire, and then you can cover them in cement. Hmm. So you can make, you know, outdoor dog. Hmm. Oh, crikey. I've just Googled Basset Hound. Whoa. I've got a lot to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so, yeah, this one, I'm, I'm not that happy with it, but I'm just going to go, oh, actually, it's okay. Well, I think it looks lovely. I realized I had to build up so much that the tail is now coming out from the wrong place. Yeah, I'll tell you what, let's, um, how do I do this again? Um, I want to try and, how do I, um, I think that's it. Um, trying to get back onto screens, because it might be, might be ah uh, yeah yes yeah. my le my neck is decidedly too long but anyway so maybe if everyone we if people don't mind maybe we'll eat <laughs> people's dogs what did you say we could we could go through having a look at people's dogs and so hold it up Sure. I'm just I'm just getting his tail up a little bit further and I'm going to have to add it on because it looks like it's coming out from you a very unnatural it. place. <laughs> okay. So it seems to be it's automatically going to people, I think. Do you mind holding holding the dog up? That looks good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> It keeps on jumping between. Yeah, it's got a very long neck. Yeah. Mine. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a giraffe dog. Yeah. How do I, wait? I'll just try and stop it. Um, sorry, I'll just be a second. Yeah, there. Can you hold it up? Which one? Your one. Mine. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a very long neck, but I'm going to leave him like that. That's cool. Yeah, that's fine. He's a giraffe dog. It's the yeah. first thing I've ever done. He's even solid. Um, yeah, he's very solid. There's lots of solidity. Yeah. The back, you could add a little on the back if you wanted to make it slightly less bowed, but it's up to you. And it's great. You've even done the ears. Oh, no. Yeah, you mean less bowed, but he's sort of, he's sort of pouncing. Yeah. Okay. That's I mean, that was completely by accident. No, that looks good. Um, anyway, well, I I am a headless dog. Okay, <laughs> I just have to work out how to. But I got his tail sticking out of kind of the right place, and I, he needs loads here and loads here. Uh, sorry, well, let's just sorry. Can you show me again? I couldn't see that. Yeah, so that's it's the. A bit that... like a sheep, really. Yeah, no, I think <laughs> it's more like a dog than a sheep. Um. You need to add, see the back legs? Yeah. So you're adding shape. I don't know if you can see my screen, but you're adding shape along the back legs. You're yeah. slightly bending the back legs as well. Yeah. Uh, and looking at the leg muscles. Yeah, exactly. Looking at the leg muscles of the back. Yeah. Running newspaper right the way along the length of the back so that you've got it quite flat. Yeah. 
Yeah, it looks like there's a bit of a, a, a sort of hole in the back near the tail. Yeah, and then I look, now that I have the photograph, yeah. its head literally comes from here. Yeah. What really I'd thick neck and yeah, really what, long ears. Yeah, what I'd recommend with that neck is straighten it out. Straighten it out, yeah. And don't bend it, don't bend it, bend it towards the end. So yeah, no, not quite, no, not, I think you need slightly more structure for the head. Okay. Um, so yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. And then, okay. If, yeah, that's, I think that's better. If it's a basset hound, you're also doing very, very long ears and you have the choice, you know, doing the loop of wire. Yeah. So, but if you're taking a V, are you taking the V from here? Yeah, no, you're taking it probably from a bit further down. Okay, because when their head is up, I'm just looking at a photograph. So I mean, I, I so the head when the head is up, the ears would be coming from this height almost. I would put them a bit further down. Okay. Yeah, and I think what you're doing, I think that the top, the end of that wire, it still needs to be bent slightly forward. Like I would bend that slightly forward. See where the wire meets it. Where the wire okay. folded over meets it. Um, Sorry, so, you mean the, the, the neck part? Yeah, like if you're having it sticking up, you can bend it to, so you've got yeah. a bit folding down for the head. Okay. I'll, I'll work it out. I, I have the I have the gist of it. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, <thanks. laughs> okay. Um, so let's can we go on to someone else? Um, uh, how do I do this? So if you don't want to show your dog, that's fine. Uh, oops. Tom, can I ask how how how, how do um <laughs> how do this from looking like a calf? The, the the head is very the neck is very as you say long and it's kind of wide. So okay. it I might be transform it might this part. Be can you see it? Yeah, I can. It looks pretty good. It looks solid anyway but it might be that you've put too much newspaper there so okay if, if you put too much take some off with an ideally with a craft knife okay okay and, and probably taking it off where you first showed me you kind of said underneath you know underneath yeah. it looks a bit wide okay okay so we'll do that and can we just have a look at the back of the dog so yeah, there's a bit of a bowed back. So what I'd recommend is running newspaper scrumpled up along the length of the along the length of the back. Okay. Here. Yeah, exactly. But actually getting it like that and running it. Can you see that along the yeah. length? Okay. Yeah. But it looks it looks pretty good. That's easy. You done. Um okay. Thank so is there anyone else can show their dog? Can I tell, I, I don't want to be, if anybody else has their dog to show. No, you go for it. Okay, I got lost in the head. The head is kind of, um, I don't know, are my ears too short? What I think you should do with the ears is you should take them closer in. So actually, you know what we did with the figure of eight? Yeah, push them in like that. Okay. You could do the figure of eight going round them. Has it not got a tiny head? Or then I can the figure from there, is it? Sorry, um, say that again. I, I just so left what was left over. I think the head is tiny, so I, I tape in the ears and then build, I suppose, build He's in there. The workshop yeah. Sorry, can uh, it decide I do it when they have good quality. Because, uh, if, so don't no one talk just now because it automatically changes because I I can't work out how to pin it. So can you carry on showing me the dog you're aware? Okay. So if I tape the ears in, the head is very small. So do, do I kind of bulk up this part here? Is that what yeah, you exactly? It looks like it doesn't look like it needs any under the neck, but it needs a bit towards the end of the nose. Okay. Yeah. So start with taping in the ears and um, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the ears are quite short as well. So I know I have I have a longer set. You see, I'm thinking, will I just take it off now and give it a good back and spock ears? Sorry. Well, it, you've got two options. You could cut that piece in half, and you could tape it on. 
So you could cut. Uh, okay. You could actually tape that on. I don't know if you can see that camera, but you could tape that on to the ear there. Okay. Make it longer that way. That's what I do. I think the ears need to be bigger and then I can make the head bigger. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Okay. And can we see the back of it? Can we see the other? Uh, that's the. Uh, okay, so the legs at the back are still going quite wide. So you could, you could take them in. Okay. And the front legs? And uh, yeah, you could also put a little more here, if you, a little more shape here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, coming through there. And would you splay those legs a bit, putting the... Um, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want them splaying anymore. I would actually do the thing, I would put a piece in, and I yeah. might, if the legs are gonna go wide still, I would take them in with the... Okay. You know, the okay. figure of eight. Okay, really thank you, Tom. Well. If you want to add a, th a little bit more thickness where the, the tail is the body, just perhaps a little bit. Okay. And you can also, if you want a pointed tail, you can squeeze it to a point. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Thanks. Okay. Um, so is anyone else wanting to show their dog? No. <laughs> um, I don't know how, so... We've got about 10 minutes left. Um, has anyone got any questions? Tom, sorry, I'm, I'm really behind with this because it's such a big dog. Okay. So, so what, what stage do I need to get at to by Friday? Do I need to just have like what you've got, like head and everything already? Can you, can you show me it? Um, <laughs> I'll try. It's a bit big and wobbly. Yeah, that's okay. I'm a long, I'm a long way off. It's, that's fine. <laughs> it's too big to sort of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's actually pretty good. I've got a lot to do, but I think, I think I know what I need to do. Yeah, that's brilliant. If you know what you need to do, that's I brilliant. And I'm going to make sure I have a sitting dog for next, for Friday. But on Friday, we're going to start doing the papier-mâché. Well, you're not ready for the papier-mâché, that's okay. No, um, but I'll try to be. Yeah, if you were, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that'd be brilliant yeah. if you were. Um, can everybody put their email in the chat? Just, it might make it easier just for me to to have your all your emails. So if you could all write your emails in the chat. Because I'll, I'll email a little, a few other little things and how to make the glue. Um, just so that you're ready for that. And I think with the sitting dog, it would be great to have um, the newspaper running along the shape of the dog. Like you can, you can do it, you can kind of do it both ways. But I prefer to have it running along the length rather than this way. It's just easier to kind of make the shape. If you know what I mean, like the length running down, the length of the leg running along the length of the body. Um, it's just somehow slightly easier. Um, yeah. Is that, is everyone kind of okay? Yeah. If anyone's got any questions, I suppose it's getting near the end, so this is probably the good time to ask. No, thank you very much. I'm lots to work on. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, in an ideal world, I suppose they would be ready to papier mache on on Friday, but it's up to you because if you're able to make. Friday and Sunday, then you can uh, you can finish, you can do the papier-mâché bit on Sunday. But it's up to you. If you do have it ready, you can, pro if you, it's dry on Sunday, you can add more papier-mâché. But if I'm totally honest, once you're into the papier-mâché bit, there's a few things that I can show you, but you can almost work away on your own. Um, I don't know how to get back to back to my screen. Yeah. 
cool. So yeah, I think I haven't done the ears yet. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly do the ears. So I'll, I'll show you both both ways of doing the ears. I make, uh, actually this is a good camera. So are you seeing, you're seeing the camera straight on? Yeah, but it's just that you're, we, all we can see from here, it's fine for the ears because we can see the top of the head and the top of the tail, but we can't see the rest of the body. So when you were working on it lower down, yeah, that's a bit better. <laughs> so, sort of rough triangle, and I'm going to actually take that on. Squeezing it to be a triangle. Then it's quite important that that's actually taped on to the to the to the dog, so it's actually attached to the dog. Um, and then an ear that's uh, going down. This is more or less the time to fold it. So it's quite it's actually really quite thick wire this, but I fold that bit down, and then I, I get a bit of newspaper. And I basically make a fairly flat shape. You're almost making, you're pretty much making an ear shape. Yeah, folding it roughly into the right shape. And then I'm gonna, I'm basically just sticking that onto the wire, but it actually comes onto the top of the head of the dog as well. So yeah, there's three minutes left and I kind of assume that it will just stop automatically. I don't know if that's the way it does it. No, sometimes you can go on and it doesn't um, cut well, you off. It may be that will happen. I got this Zoom professional, so maybe it won't just stop automatically. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's roughly how to do it. Um, that's possibly a little bit too small. So I might, yeah, I might add a little bit more so that shape's a bit bigger. The pointed one, you can bend it slightly forward. I suppose with, with sticking out ears, you can have them like that, or you can have them, sometimes people do them almost sticking onto the side of the dog. I prefer, I prefer to have a bit of a gap between it where you can stick, you know, it's not actually touching the side of the dog. Um, this, this dog isn't quite finished. I would add a little bit more there. Um, if the screen does go off, uh, thanks a lot for coming and uh, hopefully see you on Friday at six. And if you can't make it on Friday at six, it's fine. And I'll sh I'll try and share this video. I hope it'll upload okay onto YouTube and I'll send it to you. Thank okay. you very much. Thanks. Um, thank you so much. That was super. Thanks. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Very thank good. You. Thanks. thanks very much. Great. Thanks a lot. And uh, bye. Thanks. Yeah. See take you Friday. Care. I'll see you on Friday. Yeah. Okay. Bye now. Bye then. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Take care. Bye. Just wait till nine o'clock. <laughs> I can't believe that's it. <laughs> You're in our homes now, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> nine o'clock. <laughs> okay, take care. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>